It is I, Dr. Leslie. I'm here to challenge Morgan to pair her French cheeses with some very interesting local ingredients. Let's go in and have a look. Hello! Hello! Hi! How are you today? I'm very good. Are you ready for the challenge? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, let's go. Social distancing. Alright, I can't wait to uh, unveil what's in my box. <laughs> no. Are you ready? Yes! Okay. Ta da! I think I'll start you with something simple. Have you had our local roasted chestnuts before? Nope. Now, these are the kind of nuts you know when we were growing up. And you go to Panfair and all the pasta mm -hmm. there'll be someone frying these chestnuts. Yeah, I'm not in that. Yeah, yeah. Right. I got it. Right. I think this is simple. Okay. So, locally, we call it gaula. Gaula. To get a little bit more, more interesting, I've got some garlic, but not any garlic. It's okay. um, it's black inside. Okay, wow. Oh, they call it fermentation. Wow, very, very black. <laughs> this is what we call pig ear biscuits. Mm -hmm. It's not made of pig ears. Okay. It is actually in the shape of a pig ear. Okay. It's made of flour okay. and some local spices. Ear or little yeah, ass? The little ear. It, it looks like the pig, pig ear. Okay. This might be a little bit of a challenge. My next item is something we all grew up eating as kids. Paw flakes. <laughs> I've okay. never seen this. I know. It is a sweet. It's made from a fruit. Okay. It's a fruit. Almost like a... Like... Can you try? This is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> you look funny. You look a little bit. Mm. No, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to pair it. This is ikan bilis uh, with peanut and sambal chili. Oh, this is nice. Okay, you like it? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, I, I thought you're gonna be so surprised. This I know. I think I shall go for the the big surprise. No. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Durian is not in season, so I've got durian paste. Have you had durian before? No. Oh, it's perfect. You ready? No, not too bad. Since you like durian so much now. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. It comes in two forms. Wait! It comes in a nice variety like this. Ah, not the same thing at all. Morgan, your vision? Should you choose to accept it, is to pair French cheese with these ingredients. And it's got to be house cheese. Accept it? Accept it. Very good. <laughs> Most of them I've never tried them before, so it's uh, it's a new new experience for me. Uh, there's very different, different flavor, different texture, a different taste, of course. There's some that are a bit more challenging than the other ones. The most challenging here, mm, I think, is gonna be the Ikan Bilis. Wonderful. Well, we're always so happy to see a cheese platter. We always have uh, different kinds of cheese in the platter, right? Yes, always. You, you, need, you need a half time, you need a softer softer cheese, uh, blue cheese, something like which is uh, semi semi hard, and then a bit of French. It's smelly for me. Yes. <laughs> so what did you pair the uh, the hard cheese with? This one is a Comté. It's a yeah. 18, 18 to 23 months Comté. Oh, that's nice. The flavour would be a, a bit salty compared okay. to the young one and not as salty as the sweet sometimes. Oh, you, it goes so up to 36. It can go up to 8 sometimes. Right. So we're going to try, mm. but maybe just with half of a garlic oh, Just a little bit. It's quite strong too, this garlic. It's, it's quite strong. And, yes. uh, and you don't want it to overpower yeah. The, yeah, the, cheese. the cheese at the, at the okay. same time. Mm. Oh, the sweetness pairs very well with the... Yeah. Mm. 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 Good. Okay. <laughs> Next one, we're going to go for the creamy, more gooey kind of, uh, kind of okay. cheese. This is a Brie de Mou. 
It's a 3 kg wheel, right? And then you cut it into yeah. points, like a pointy kind of uh, ah, shape. Okay. Uh, so a slice of green cheese yes. here. Do I just take the end here? Do I start with the end? You take the end, and at some point you will start to cut it into because uh, you, you you don't want you don't want the last person to have all the rind and no cheese. Okay. So there's real brie. That's real brie. It's, it's from that particular region, from that particular way of doing it. This one has been made for, it's the fifth generation of the brie maker. Brie is a, it's, it's not too strong, it's my cheese, yes. it still has some character. Yeah. And I find that the biscuits would work well. It has a bit of sweetness, a bit of saltiness at the same okay. time, and it's not too strong. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I love looking at the texture of that. Uh, this is my first time eating <laughs> here biscuits with cheese. It's good. Mm. It's it's actually good. That's two out of five. Let's try the full nobel. Full nobel um, is sometimes a bit milder. Go for the durian dodor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder if anybody in the world has tried pairing durian dodor with cheese before. <laughs> this could be the world first. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Maybe a little bit more creamy will go better. Or we can find it a real turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I still don't think it's a merit made in heaven. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting enough for you to try. Yes. Right? Does yes. she get one point? Mm. Oh, this one, yeah, it's sort of like. Maybe needs a bit more work. We've got two winners, one not so sure. What's next? So a tom is a cheese that is about this kind of size. It's called a tom. This tom, we, we're gonna pair it with the chestnut. Because this cheese paste itself is mild and nice and fruity, and the rind is uh, it's really flavorful. It's some walnut, really ah. walnut flavor. Let's try it with the with the chestnut. Okay. okay. <laughs> I love washed rind cheese, right? Because it's strong and it's got the smell of smelly socks. This is called Sumatra. So it's Sumatra. If you are Singaporean, you call it Sour Main Train. So. Sumatra. Okay. Right. Okay, so Sumatra. Like, train. Sumi. Sour, 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 sour Main Train. train. <laughs> because it's rind is a whole train. <laughs> Sandwich. Okay. Oh, okay. This the is, ice cream, yes, this is, ice cream like, kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> oh, mm. Well, four and a half upon five. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> I'm frankly very surprised. I mean, I, I didn't think that it was gonna work so well, but it worked really, really well. So you're gonna make this available on sale, yeah? People can Absolutely. just order it online with all these ingredients, right? Okay, so you guys, make sure you come and buy uh, some French cheeses and you can try with some of the local ingredients. Uh, you know, you'll be very pleasantly surprised by how well it works. Hey, I got one more thing. Uh. I still got the Ikan Bilis. Oh, which one of these cheese will go well with the Ikan Bilis chili? This one, you know what? I think we could put it in a nice little cup on the side. Yes. And then people just have that stuff whenever they want because this one is very tricky.
Thank you so much. You're most it's welcome. And a great afternoon trying so many different flavors, right? The cheeses are so interesting and the accompaniment is so interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you.